Iga's Bakery is open. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. She's accepting orders. And congratulations, a little Polish woman pulls it off. Now, she defeats her best friend, Yuvon. And this was a beatdown, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, Iga's. What is that? It's got to be like her 60th bagel going back the last two seasons and a half. Unbelievable. Now, let's take a look at the match summary. Iga played phenomenal, guys. Nearly 90 percent of her first serves won five for six on break points nearly perfect 21 winners to two only eight unforced errors when she's been averaging over 20 but i want to take it a step further because the u.s open they don't really talk about the stats and of course she'll probably play bernarda pair if she can hold on i gave you the picks for the other matches there go watch the video and like it now listen let's go in depth here with the stats now Iga still struggling to get her first serves in play, only 55%. She did have a double fault. She did win 80% of her second serves. That's good. Now, Yuvon, on the other hand, struggled all match long, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Struggling to get her first serves in play. At one point, she was winning only 30% of her first serves, and uh, it was lower than that for, for much of the match, to be honest with you. But you have to be happy for Yuvon. She came through qualifiers. She... Walks away with over $400,000 in uh, prize money. And of course, if you factor in the qualifiers, probably about four hundred and sixty dollars to $70,000 she'll walk away with. That's enough to take care of her for the next few seasons, at least for the next two seasons. Pay her coaches, get some new staff members to help her grow. Hug at the net. Yes, they're good friends. Yvonne's like, why'd you do that to me? Tennis in a minute. We'll be back. 